Hello. Hello. Welcome to the news. This week, we have news of more airliners. Are we there yet? Also, we have news of different missions, some scenery, and more planes. Don't go anywhere. So I'm joined once again by our fearless co-host and your man over there, Gibbo Ireland. Gibbo, how are you? Hey Murph, it's our very own Silver Swallow himself. How are you doing? <laughs> Silk Grey Pigeon. And, and all is well, all is well. Right, it's 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 kind of more the same, but it's not, because mm. it kind of went from having one airliner released, then we kind of had two, then the Concorde was getting in there, but now any bill. So there's huge aircraft in every sense of the word on the very short horizon. Uh, as we're showing some screenshots here in the background, what do we know? What's happening? They're all coming soon, Murph. That's pretty much it. So we've got an update from PMDG on the 737, which we're long awaiting at this stage. They tell us uh, that the systems logic is well now in place. Issues being identified are being resolved one at a time from a simulation standpoint. They're finding that it's flying very well. It's incredibly stable, well-mannered. Uh, and they're in the process of chasing down things to uh, to just iron out those last few bits and pieces. And mm -hmm. um, they have chosen a go live date for the beta release as well. They have not shared that yet. And um, so yes, it's it's getting there. It's getting there. We have the Phoenix then next here, Murph, as well, where we've seen these phenomenal screenshots. I have not seen anything like that at all before in Microsoft Flight Simulator. I gotta say, mm -hmm. uh, this too is in beta uh, stage at the moment as well going through testing and so forth, it just looks so good. That polygon count, I've never seen anything like it with those textures. You can see mm, the smoothness. So polygons. good. <laughs> <laughs> the Concorde DC gave us an update. He was working on the internals, internals of the, uh, the cabin mm -hmm. that we spoke about last week as well. That's uh, gone quite a long ways as well uh, he has worked on the forward passenger cabin the entrance area the forward galley and the tunnel that leads to the cockpit allowing us even to walk around the interior as well so um he, again work is continuing on the uh on finishing that up as well as the electrical and hydraulic systems next nice. uh, the pricing for the concord has been released murph 35 euros and if you're a p3d owner of the dc designs concord uh, you'll get a reduced price to upgrade of um 30 euros so a fiver off for you with that one Good. and then finally we've got the a310 from any bills um so yes we haven't seen a huge amount in terms of uh updates on the a310 from any bills at the moment the main update that they've shared as we said at the start is this month is going to be great for microsoft flight simulator flyers so again just looking from at these two screenshots is all we've got to work on and um, it seems that you know they've come a long way it, terms of uh, work on the systems flight model textures and they tell us even the sounds as well so um hopefully this it will be indeed study level i believe is what they're aiming for here with this one it's kind of all or nothing now like i mean you know a couple of weeks ago there was all sorts of up down left and right kind of maneuvers from the pmdg camp uh phoenix were fairly quiet uh the concord in fairness of dc designs they're so good at keeping people up to date uh but any builds indeed were quiet as well but now as we're approaching sim update 8 which is slated uh, another week or two from now the 22nd i think there's so much stuff about to happen so what do you guys think i mean what are you most looking forward to out of those four airplanes the pmdg 737 bearing in mind i think it's the 700 variant uh, is it going to be the phoenix a320 Will it be the Concorde or even the Inibills A310? Let us know in the comment section below. Gibbo, what are you most looking forward to? Oh, that's a tough one. The Concorde has always been right up there, Murph, as well. Gotta say, can't wait for the 7.3. I definitely will be buying that too. So, look, I'll probably get them all. This is right up my alley, all these four, I gotta say. <laughs> I'm just going to get the Phoenix just to look at it and admire the beauty that is the Polygon. <laughs> but it looks amazing. And there's another thing, right? We don't have a similar aircraft uh, from, from Boeing, if you like, in the sim at the moment. So maybe there's something that we could do uh, from tutorial side using alternatives. If you guys are see something like that let us know in the description below and maybe myself and gibble will work on a something for familiarization uh, and mainly pressing buttons and all sorts of things we'll but, guinea pig. <laughs> yeah yeah exactly i like it you know but uh, anyway moving on gibble we have some exciting news uh coming out of sws and fs academy uh, missions what's the deal here 
Correct. Yes, Murph. This is a, a partnership between Simwork Studios and FS Academy, partnering on four new missions for Microsoft Flight Simulator. This is a charitable work, actually, for Humanitarian Wings, which is the, here you ready, is Aviation Sans Frontiers. Trade me and merci. Oh, yes. Mercy buckets. Um, <laughs> this is released today, Murph, Tuesday, the February the 8th. It's available at Orbix Direct. And what you get here is four missions taking place in Central African Republic based on the real life operations of the Aviation San Frontenders. Uh, the package contains four realistic missions, two repaints of the Cessna Caravan in their colors and custom and improved sceneries for various airstrips airports uh in that area and um, this is uh, uh priced at 18 euros or 21 dollars but all income from this package will be donated to that uh, aviation son pantanteers very very impressive uh, but yeah no i have to say it's uh your accent uh, but yes sws you know they started off building scenery and uh, the first scenery for microsoft flight sim i think was the okavango uh, delta so i mean sws really know how to make good scenery because that's that's phenomenal um i maybe there's something there for the kodiak i don't know they're going to throw in some liveries as well and mm. of course fs academy i love what them guys do i mean the tutorials they have for the vfr and the ifr stuff really really impressive so i'm kind of looking forward to this and they're doing it for a good cause uh yeah it's definitely going to be interesting so it's on my shopping list so uh, yeah let's see what happens uh, so moving on look at the camera work so this thing here right it's called the booker bu131 young man and it's the new release from lionheart creations and it went straight in to the insim marketplace it's 25 euros and uh, well i was flying this uh on the stream last sunday in australia just for the sheer crack of it and I have to report, it is a fantastic little airplane. It's a real kind of vintage, history-rich airplane. Uh, they've done a phenomenal job here. I have all the notes for this one. Give oh, this is great. Uh, so it comes with 15 liveries. Uh, it also comes with three different interior liveries, if you like. It has kind of brown leather or black leather. Uh, and the aircraft itself, there's just a nice comprehensive uh, kind of website there. There's a POH available as well. Uh, you know, Lionheart Creations, they have also released the... Um, the Segato over on Microsoft Flight Sim as well. So the I think it's the Tucano. Is it Tucano? It's the the Quickie Q two hundred and the Trinidad. They're the ones. That's that. Yes, man, give up. Uh, but that's what they've released so far. Now you can pick this up, as I said, in the Insim Marketplace, and they've also pushed it out to the usual vendors: Aerosoft, Just Flight, uh, Sim Market, and so on and so forth. It's really really good. It flies fantastically and has a very unique suspension system. The shock absorbers on the front of the aircraft, on the landing gear, they roll and they move. Uh, and, you know, it's very, very good. The only thing I think I can pass comment or judgment on, if you like, are probably the aircraft sounds. Uh, there's nothing wrong with them, but they're very, very close to something very familiar uh, being a Cessna 152. I don't know if they're going to do a thing there or, you know, are they coded over? I'm, I'm quite unsure. But, um, you know, as far as a, a general aviation airplane with huge history behind it, it was the very last biplane uh, to be built and manufactured in Germany. Uh, and of course, it comes with a ton of different liveries as well. It's a special, special little airplane. Highly recommended. So, moving on, we have this thing. I've been waiting for this longer than I've been waiting for a Fuga. Uh, DC-3 coming on the way from Airplane Heaven. Gibbo, what do we know? What's happening? I couldn't tell you, Murph. We've got no information about the DC-3. Unfortunately, Airplane Heaven continue to keep their cards very close to their chest on this one, which is such a shame. What an iconic aircraft. And look at these stills that we have. It looks like it's coming on really, really well. Um, what we do know is on the basis of a Facebook comment that they were asked about, that they replied to, they're telling us that they're hoping to release it this month, which is incredible. Um, but yes, we, we've no details in terms of actually, you know, what simmers can expect from this aircraft or when exactly we can expect it to come out. So, yeah, um, interesting. <laughs> it looks incredible. And like, you know, I, I for me, you know, Airplane Heaven's last release, which is the P-51 Mustang, I think they did an outstanding job on that. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to see how this thing kind of pans out. Uh, it, like it, it's my expectations are very high here. Do you know what I mean? Slap on an L Buffalo Airways uh, or even one of the yeah. C47 liveries. I mean, it's such 
it is the most iconic airplane uh, yeah. I think that we have. I have a picture of it here behind me. Like, it's just like, yes, more of these, plenty of them. Let's go for it. So I can't wait for it. So uh, again, I think, you know, if you were a developer, right, you know, are you going to release an airplane before Sim Update 8? Or would you be thinking, they're going to break something, right? So do we wait? Uh, or do they release it now and then and see what the Sim does? I think after the last World Update, that was probably the smoothest release we've seen so far from Microsoft with an update. I mean, it was flawless. And the quality of the update, I think, was amazing. So who knows? Maybe it's starting to, do you know what I mean? Get a bit of traction. But uh, really looking forward to the DC3. So moving on. News from our friends over at Orbex. And well, racing courses, Gibbo. What's happening? Yes, they're releasing a Fun with Friends pack, which adds 10 racing courses to some stunning locations in Microsoft Flight Simulator. So Orbex have done this before. We we mentioned the Brisbane River Run, which was one of the first freeware uh, sceneries that, that Orbex did quite some time ago. And it's kind of following a similar vein where it's a number of activities um, and things to discover uh, you know, throughout the world. So... This first pack adds 10 racing tracks in some scenic locations, including the Grand Canyon, uh, the Egyptian Pyramids, or the Canadian Rockies, to name uh, just a few. Uh, so yeah, the idea here is, as you can see from this video, is that essentially um, it's it's composing a variety of pylons and signs and different shapes and sizes, guiding you around the track that you'll find in these locations. And uh, there's no time tracking and there's no leaderboard of any kind it's just spawning into the closest airport and head to the track for some fun and uh with, with your mates so this launches uh the first pack of 10 racing courses available for just five dollars and they tell us that there will be more packs in this series to come with additional challenges stunts easter eggs and much more nice i can see it now Orbex technical support. The planes keep disappearing. There's something wrong with your... I've said too much. Anyway, hashtag 22 for the win. Moving on, Gibbo. We have news once again from Flight uh, Sim Academy or FS Academy. And uh, they're bringing us an update to their VFR packages. What's the story? Yeah, we're great fans of FS Academy. I, I love the Jetliner one. I did a review on that. Uh, but they also have the IFR and their VFR packages. The last one is what we're talking about here, where new and existing users of the VF4 FS Academy can get version 1.3 of the product, which adds uh, on-screen objectives, game markers, refined mission triggers, uh, instructor notices for excessive pitch and bank, and lots more uh, improvements as well, including even cinematics and UI improvements, etc. So uh, version 1.3 of this is now available and uh, definitely worth the download. I don't know if any of you guys have tried this before, but the FS Academy VFR is, and the IFR stuff, it works really well in VR. So it means you can actually do flight training and they do teach you the basics and then they kind of move you along quite well. It's very immersive because they have ATC with it uh, and it's a very enjoyable learning environment. I think they've done a fantastic job here. And if it's something that you want to kind of enhance your flying without having to go through all the study books, this is definitely a great product to start with because they will teach you the basics and then show you some of the more advanced things. And it's all from the comfort of your sim. You're not looking at outside of the sim stuff to find it. So yeah, huge fan of this work and really looking forward to it. Now this one here, yeah, but why is this here? Like, did they not just like build an aircraft and like, you know, model an aircraft? Everything here is real world footage, but it does feature the SF-50 uh, by Cirrus aircraft. It looks, you know, it's a, it's a mad, wacky looking plane, but uh, well, why didn't they like give us a sim version of it yet? Murph, this is the sim version. It looks incredible. Look huh? at this. There's a real guy in the background there, but this is the sim model. Like this is an interactive 360 tour of the work the flight effects are doing on the Cirrus SF50 Vision Jet. And um, you'll see in a moment we can actually go in, so you can see definitely it is indeed the sim. But it's incredible work that they're doing. The first part of this video, you've may have just seen the, the, some of the work that they're doing in terms of, um, you know, things like uh, recording, the uh, sounds, and, and much of the SF real life experience. Many flights are being had by flight effects to capture all that, and really, they're aiming to to recreate it as much as possible on Microsoft Flight Simulator in terms of being as close to the real thing. But look at this model. Perhaps not the interior just yet, but look at these exterior shots. I thought it, that was real. <laughs> it is that good. 
you know so when you think about this and what we've seen with phoenix there a moment ago with the with some of the the smudges and texture work it feels to me like you know we're getting up a couple levels here in terms of some of the quality and how photorealistic you know this 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 is becoming it's incredible like i mean you know there's talk of dlss there's you know we have a, an early alpha if you like they call it a beta but like you know dx12 is there so this mm -hmm. is definitely going to raise the the visual representation of what can be put in the sim without you know hampering your performance and uh this to me is photo real it, it's it's incredible that, that external model i mean it's okay they're using a real world background the lighting is something fierce maybe it's edited i don't know but a bit of reshade will fix that but yeah, I agree. I mean, we were saying earlier on about some some of the scenery files. It's it's easy enough to identify kind of last year's scenery. You know, they were kind of those those shiny kind of um, block buildings that everyone was using. Uh, and now all of a sudden, we're looking at these photoreal things. Like, it's absolutely incredible. It really, really is. So uh, long may it last. This is absolutely impressive, to say the least. It looks fantastic. So uh, yeah, fingers crossed with that one. So, uh, moving on, we have news from Milviz, and this is a video showing off uh, a working demo, if you like, of the Cessna 310, which of course is a twin-engined general aviation airplane. And uh, with the 310, I, I flew a 310 uh, back in X-Plane, there was a very good one over there, and uh, well, they're an awesome plane. Uh, plenty of plower, or pen, pen, plower? Pen, plenty of power. Pronounce your T's, Murph, and your P's. And, uh... If anyone was noticing what I was doing, I just changed the battery in my headset because I just had no headset. But now it works. But anyway, Gibbo, what can we tell the folks about what Milviz are up to? I'll save you, Murph. Don't worry. Thanks. So, thanks. Yeah, a short update here on this one. So the estimated date for when we can expect this from Milviz is now roughly late March, early April, somewhere by the time when the Sky Raider will come out. Mm. So as a teaser, we've got this little video, not too much more. There's one or two additional stills as well that we've seen of the 310 at the moment. But they, Milviz do tell us that they're recreating it in its classic form with steam gauges. However, it'll be accompanied by modern avionics like the GNS 530 and the 430. Uh, even better is support for the GTN 750. And um, yeah, they are looking for this to be study level as well. So another study level release, um, you know, from Milviz, which will raise the bar for really any GA airplane, I think, in the simulator. So looking forward to it. Absolutely. GA all the way, man. Absolutely. Fantastic stuff. So in our last bit of news, this is huge news. Uh, our good old friend, Mechanical Madness, has been busy making stuff happen. And his focus of late has been on the iconic Bathurst in Mount Panorama or Mount Panorama in Bathurst. He's only gone and absolutely built the entire raced, uh, racing track and all the facilities around it. And it looks oh. incredible. The shots we see came from Mechanical. He's working on this whilst drinking cups of tea at the same time. And seemingly he's juggling a ball on this hand as well as he does it. Uh, such is the mystery and sorcery of Mechanical Madness, who, of course, you know, he's one of the guys in the community and just an all around phenomenal developer in particular when it came to the racetracks we've seen the work he's done with silverstone he's been working on other bits and pieces as well and he has a few more projects but he's planning to release this very scenery this coming friday uh it'll be available over on flightsim.to and it's that of mount panorama which is an iconic racing track over in australia um we haven't got our hands on it we haven't used it yet but we know the the quality, if you like, uh, that we can expect from Mechanical Madness and the screenshots here, well, I'm sure they're not going to do it to justice. It's going to be fantastic. An ideal place to go flying, especially in your chopper. And uh, who knows what else we can get out of the scenery as well. Really looking forward to that. Gibbo, have you ever like driven around Mount Panorama on a racing sim slash game slash sim? I, not that I th can think of, Murph. No, do, hey, do you have any idea of the pricing on this? Yeah, it's coming in for one... It's free! Absolutely free! What? Yeah, he's done it for free. And what? Yeah, wow. do you know what I mean? He must have solar panels at home or something. But anyway, it's, it's coming out for free. Uh, so a huge thanks, first of all, to Mechanical Madness because well, he's given everyone stuff for free, which is brilliant. But uh, it's essentially, Gibbo, it's it's kind of like a hill race. As in, if you go up the hill, over the mountain, and come down the far side. But it's one of the most narrow tracks you can get. The passing areas are few and far between. It's a combination of, I don't know, it's like Laguna Seca and Monaco and something else mixed in together. 
it's an amazing race and they wow. tend to do a lot of endurance racing here so uh, i can't wait to see this because you know with the new australian update it's done so so well and now we're going to have this level of scenery to show off uh, over Mount Panorama. It's going to be incredible. So I can't wait for it. It looks amazing. So that's it for the news this week. It's like, you know, are we there yet with the airliners? We're waiting on it. It's kind of, well, there's there's news. We know they're coming. We just don't know what date. You know, I reckon it's going to be just after Sim Update 8. Um, but who knows? It could, it could be before it and I'll be eating my own words next week. Who knows? Uh, but also the other good news is there's, well, there's other things happening. There's general aviation starting to come out uh, thick and fast. And also now some of the other things like the missions and kind of scenery packs rather than just airports. So it's all kind of good news at the minute. And yeah. um, let's kind of see what happens. So don't forget, you'll catch us over on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday and Friday at 20 hundred Zulu time on twitch.tv forward slash two tone Murphy. And uh, well, that's it. Have a great week and we'll see you next week. Take care. Take care.